Are you team Coco Handle or team Lady Dior? Which one would you buy first or which one do you prefer? In this video, I'm going to be comparing my Coco Handle and my Lady Dior, give you measurements, weight, how they look on me, and basically pros and cons to help you make a more informed decision. Hello, my name is Amy, and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. By the way, if you have not seen my comparison between the Coco Handle and the Trendy CC, I'm going to link it up here or down below so you can check it out. So based on my own measurements, the bottom measures 9 inches, approximately 7.5 inches on the top here the drop of the handle is about three inches the width of the bag at the base here is about three and a half inches and the weight is 544 grams the strap drop on the coco handle from here all the way to the top of the bag is about 17 and a half inches which is pretty short and it also varies from season to season i have my blue one which is actually slightly shorter than this gray one here Compared to the Mini Lady Dior, it is actually a little bit heavier, but also a little bit smaller. It is about 7 inches across, 5.5 inches in height, 2.5 inches in the drop here for the top handle, and also the width is about 3 inches at the bottom and 2.5 inches on top. The strap drop on this is a lot longer. It is about 23 inches from the top of the strap here all the way to the top of the bag here. And in terms of weight, it is 681 grams. What I really like about the Coco handle is the material, the fact that they are only made in caviar most of the time or distressed calfskin is a pro for me because it is really hard wearing. In terms of wear and tear, even for this white one or actually it is the gray one from a past season, it is so hard wearing. I have not had any color transfer or any problems with corner wear or anything like that and I don't really baby it except that I am a little bit more careful with this lighter color one. I only typically wear my Coco handles in the summer just because I feel like this style looks best with a cute feminine dress or a dressier outfit. I just don't think that this style and this shape itself lends itself to a more casual style. So I just prefer wearing the Coco handle in the summer. There's lots of classic features that I love about the Coco handle, CC, turn lock, quilting, a flat back feature and I love the chain intertwine with the leather. I love the beautiful top handle. It feels very sturdy and solid to me. I love the detachable strap option, although I always leave it on. And in this particular version, I love the fact that it is in champagne gold color. Of all my three Coco handles, this one is my favorite one. Since the fall of 2019, Chanel has stopped making any of their handbags in exotic skin. So since then and going forward, the Coco handle is no longer offered in exotic skin handle. So therefore, even the interior is no longer lined in leather. So this one is in fabric lining. The only comment I'm going to make about price is that it is still a little cheaper. You do get a lot of bag for your buck and it is also still a very affordable style for the Chanel family. Some of the cons of the Coco I already mentioned, such as the fact that it is a little bit less versatile style wise I just find it a little bit too feminine to dress down sometimes and also the fact that this strap does slide off your shoulder often I feel like maybe as it molds more to your shoulder it will be better but just in general when you're wearing a thicker fabric on your shoulder it does tend to sort of fall off maybe because this size in particular is very small and does not weight enough to sit on your shoulder properly I don't know maybe that's one of the factors which is also why I tend to wear it in the summer because on bare skin it actually is perfect it doesn't slide off the strap is a little bit on the shorter side means that it's a little harder to cross body in fact it's not really comfortable but in a pinch you can do it sharper corner means that it's easier to get wear and tear on the corners although i haven't had any problems myself uh, it is not my everyday bag but in general i just am a careful person so i haven't had any of those problems in terms of the interior the first compartment is quite spacious and easy to access but the back compartment is a little bit harder and a little bit slimmer it's still okay it's acceptable i usually put my phone and a card holder there but that's pretty much about it because otherwise it's harder to get in and out of the back compartment there 
Uh, the middle compartment I hardly use. I almost always forget that it's there, but it is there. It's just a little slip compartment in the fabric material. The cocoa handle is generally a style that I really like. It's just really pretty and the price is really good compared to even the mini flaps now, the mini classic flap. Uh, they are still really well priced and you get a lot of bag for what you pay for. Yes, it is only fabric line, but you still get a lot of the good things, you know, the features, the timelessness of it, and the fact that it's becoming more popular means that resale value will probably keep up a little bit better. Lots of pros and cons for the Lady Dior also. Again, this is one of my newest bags and because of the pandemic, I haven't really been uh, able to use it as much. I just didn't have as many opportunities. What I really like about the Lady Dior is just the timelessness. It's a timeless classic. You can never go wrong in terms of the actual style itself, whether you choose this size or any other size. The fact that Lady Dior's are traditionally made in lambskin means that they're very, very luxurious feeling. It's so very soft. Mine is in the 2020 opaline gray color. I guess it's been treated, right, to, to have this metallic finish. I don't know what it is about this leather. It just feels like even though it is lambskin, it feels durable. Like it doesn't feel like it will scratch as easily as I think. Of course, it is in a lighter color, which means that I have to be careful anyway. The Lady Dior is also a perfect evening bag, especially in the mini size or even the small size. You can still dress it down to a certain extent, but it is definitely, definitely a very, very nice evening bag. Another pro of the Lady Dior is all the little details from a history standpoint that goes into the design of this bag. I have talked at length in my reveal first impression video of the Lady Dior, so do go ahead and check it out, and I'll also try to link it up here and down below in the description box. But basically, from the quilting to the charms, to the oval details of this bag just lots and lots of heritage details that went into the design of this this chain is just exquisite it's just one of the prettiest detail on it i don't even mind if it's just dangling like that because usually i like to leave my chains on just so that i have the option of either crossbodying it or just uh, in a pinch put it on my shoulder so one of the reasons why i have not taken the plunge until this year to buy it is the resale value of the Lady Dior's in general. Whether you choose this size or another size, the, the resale value in general is just not as good, especially when you compare it to a relatively popular Chanel handbag. I mean, the Coco handle is not the most coveted style, but it has become more and more popular. And in general, I do find that Chanel handbags do keep their value a little bit better, especially if you go for the more popular style. But even though the Lady Dior is so popular, and I think that they are very sought after. They just don't keep their value very well. The mini size does keep its value a little bit better recently, especially with the mini trend. Lambskin is also known to be a leather that does patina, as I was explaining in my Trendy CC versus Coco Handle video. But basically, in general, lambskin just indents a little bit easier. Like on this flap, I don't know if you can see the little indents here from just opening the flap and just touching this oval detail there. It just indents, it just scratches. If you don't like your bags to uh, not say exactly as they were <laughs> the day that you purchased them, of course, with use, any bags will never really look the same, but in general, lambskin just will become a little bit more vintage looking. You do have to be careful about water spots. Another con about this size in particular, especially, is that getting in and out of it is not super easy. Because it is quite narrow and it is already a smaller size, and the fact that the opening does have these two rings getting in the way, it's not the easiest to get in and out of it. It's just something that you have to accept or get used to. Finally, some people don't like the noise when you carry a Lady Dior, like it makes all kinds of noise from the chains and from the charms especially. To me, it doesn't bother me yet, I guess because I really haven't had the chance to really wear it. Which one would I buy first? I would probably go with the Coco Handle first just because in general, it is a better value. They are about the same price, but you just get better value for this. 
resale value is probably better and also for this particular color i really love uh, this particular version that I have here, but just in general I feel like if I were to choose between the two which one would I go first or which one would I choose if I could only buy one I would probably still go with the cocoa handle just because uh, price wise design wise value wise and it is also my favorite brand of handbags having said that this one is a close second I don't think I'll go and buy three Lady Dior's in the same size just like I did for the Coco Handle. I don't think I'll do that for the Lady Dior simply because of the reasons of resale value. I do care about the history and the luxuriousness and everything about this bag obviously but not enough to go ahead and buy three. I just think that uh, I really appreciate it enough to have one in my collection for now but we shall see in the future whether I will add more in different sizes maybe but just comparing the two I feel like because this one fits more they're both dressy and can be really good candidates for evening bags so they're very similar to me in terms of usage function and even pricing they're so close that I feel like this one is just a better value better buck and better choice to begin with but this is a close second if I were just to compare these two like this is such a close second and um, if you disregard the fact that it doesn't keep its value it's actually such a beautiful classic it actually looks more sophisticated than the Coco handle and I just feel like you can never go wrong with this style I hope this was helpful and let me know down below which one you prefer. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back. Please do consider subscribing and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.